Did you hear what Andre Mirabelli had to say regarding our earlier discussion on attribution? Well, actually, no. What did Dr. Mirabelli have to say? I think you should hear from him, since he's coming now. Hello, gentlemen. Hi, Andre. Please tell us your thoughts on what we discussed regarding attribution. Yes, Andre, please do. I am interested in your views on this topic. Well, thank you. I will be happy to. While there are exact arithmetic models that do not have residuals, the ones you mentioned do have residuals but do not, quote, eliminate the residuals. The residuals they confront arise due to mistaking an economic question about multi-period results, as one that should formally privilege single-day calculations. Then, some of these linking methods you mentioned distribute the created residual across time implying that the evaluation of past results need to be constantly revised in light of any future results. The other arithmetic models you mention, along with an old one of mine, distribute the residual to the current period's elements, like allocation, even when such period's allocation of decisions are exactly null. These are all untenable and thus mislead their users. About the sources of the results of the investment processes. There are also residuals in standard geometric models. I agree with you, there are. Thank you. I thought you would. Instead of arising from the geometric process of temporal compounding over time, they arise from taking the weighted average. These geometric residuals show up in nesting situations, such as when one considers the selection of decision within a single sector. Then the standard geometric models encounter residuals when they multiply this sector's selection effect, times the selection effect obtained within another sector. Such standard approaches to geometric attribution then also find it necessary to smooth the residual they create over their various attribution components. This again leads to the warping of the measures of allocation and or selection effects. I believe that when the economic question regarding attribution is properly formulated, the fact that multi-period fund returns are geometric products of arithmetically weighted sums of issue returns, leads to the recognition that there are other economically, as opposed to mathematically, necessary contributors to attribution than the standard ones. When seeking the arithmetic contributions to the arithmetic active return, one finds that the clear and precise economically formulated question leads to cases where there are economically meaningful contributions due to the effects of temporally dependent decisions. When seeking the geometric contributions to the geometric active return, one finds that the clear and precise economically formulated question leads to cases where there are economically meaningful contributions due to the effects of the nesting of decisions, as is common in basic research. When a clear enough formulation of a question is finally achieved, the mathematical answer is fairly straightforward. It is only while the question is unclear that we have arguments such as that highlighted by your earlier discussion. Thank you, Andre. Yes, thank you. But please tell us your thoughts on the merits of arithmetic and geometric attribution, as vastly different approaches to arrive at the excess return and associated effects. I would love to, but I must be off to a meeting. Perhaps some other time. Cheers.